Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you a story of freezing cold. It is also a story of hope. Natasha was a poor girl lived in a village of Russia. She had only her grandmother and no one else. She used to share all her doubts and queries with her grandmother. But her grandmother could not answer all her queries. But she always used to tell one thing. My dear, humans cannot find answers to all the queries they have. Then what should we do? We should observe the nature which is a great book. Nature holds all the knowledge from the beginning of the universe. It has experienced all the sorrows from then on. It is not easy for us to find answers, but if we observe carefully, we can. After some days, one tragedy happened. Natasha's grandmother also passed away. She felt so sad, pressing her face into the cold cheeks of her grandma, she cried. Oh my grandma, I cannot live without you. Natasha felt so sad and depressed. That year, Natasha failed in her exams. I lost everything, including my grandma. Now I can never pass in any exams. This is how Natasha felt. She closed all the doors and she sat in the room like this very sadly. Then one cool breeze came and touched Natasha and the windows became little open. Is it my grandma who is coming as a breeze? Natasha thought. She looked outside the window and she saw a birch tree standing there without any leaves like a skeleton. Oh, poor dead birch tree. Once it was full of leaves and now it's almost dead. Natasha felt that the birch tree is looking at her and from that day onwards, Natasha started observing the birch tree every day. She thought that it will collapse any time. But a miracle happened. As the winter went, fresh and tender leaves started growing in the birch tree and it was soon covered fully with the leaves. Natasha became surprised and happy. She opened the door and she went towards the birch tree and said, With all those dried branches, I thought you are dead. But now you are full of leaves again. How beautiful you look, she said. The birch tree shaking its leaves and branches welcomed Natasha. And the birch tree said, What you said is true. It is hard to outlive winters. Do you know, I still remember the days when I experienced my first winter. That time, I had my mother with me and what my mother told, I still remember. What was that? That time, my mother told me, this is your first winter and you can outlive it. If you feel now, you will lose forever those beautiful and colorful world of flowers and fruits and happiness. This is what she told. Oh, is it so? Yes, my dear little girl, now I don't experience much the cold winters. Soon I will have flowers and fruits. I will be a feast to all the birds and butterflies. It will be a celebration for me and I too will thoroughly enjoy those moments with them, the birch tree said. That was a lesson for Natasha, a lesson thought by nature and not by her grandmother. 
and soon Natasha's mind's winters also passed away. Like the birch tree, Natasha's mind also filled with happiness and bloomed. Her life was bloomed again. My dear friends, don't you also experience the cold winters of loneliness and grief sometime in your life? But the birch tree, like the birch tree, it appears several forms in our life too. But unlike Natasha, we fail to observe and learn from the nature the lessons of hope. Thank you.